This is her narrator, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. In today's story, Opus found out his wife cheated on him at her friend's bachelorette party after a friend sent shocking videos of what Opus's wife was doing with the man she met there. Now she has been served with divorce in her life as a wreck. Let's get into today's story. My wife cheated on me back in 2019. I was blindsided, and I wanted to share because I was told my reaction was a little unhealthy. My wife had shown me that she has no loyalty, even though I did everything I could to make her happy. My wife and I got married six years ago and were in a good place in the beginning. I worked handling the accounts at my company, and she was a state-tested nurse aide. When I met her, we rented a nice house and weren't in any real debt. We were good at managing our money. So spending wasn't a problem. We communicated easily and worked good as a team. Getting physical at night was easy because she was so gorgeous and kept her looks up all the way. Our family had gotten along well, and I was practically best friends with her brother Jacob. He worked as a custodian at the hospital she worked at thanks to their mom. And we always looked out for her little brother. My wife was an independent woman who could always think for herself. She always had a sense of confidence and demanded respect for me and Jacob. We didn't have kids, but I felt like if we did, she would be a good inspiration. But the problem was that she had toxic friends around her. The way they talked about each other made me feel like they were more like rivals than anything. They would talk about each other all week, but party together and claim they were sisters. Not only that, they would get into terrible arguments, especially when they were drunk. I can't count how many times they had a falling out with each other one week. And then the following week, they would go out on a girl's trip to be on vacation. I was told that girls are always secretly in competition with each other. So I thought it was just typical, it could be annoying, but I just took the good for the bad. I just thought it was normal between the five of them. The affair happened when her friend Erica was about to get married before the marriage, it was normal to have their wild party. So my wife and her friends left at night to throw Erica the party. They planned at the hotel. I knew they were going to be out all night, so I didn't bother waiting up for her. A couple days after the wedding, I was getting ready to hop in the shower that night. When I heard my phone ringing in the bedroom at the time, I wasn't sure that's what I heard, so I just hopped in the shower. When I came out of the shower, I saw I had six missed calls, and they were from the same number. This was weird to me, so I didn't call the person back since I didn't know who it was. When I was in my living room, the number called again, and even though I didn't know the number, I decided to pick it up. When I answered, nobody answered me back at first, and all I could hear was a girl talking to a guy in the background. After saying hello three times, I just hung up after that they called again and I immediately picked up the phone. This time, the girl answered me back, and I realized it was one of my wife's friends. I asked her friend why she was calling me. She immediately started calling my wife names and said she cheated on me at the party. This had put a real fear in me, but I still said she didn't know what she was talking about. She said she did know and that she had recorded it as proof to show me. I asked her what she was talking about, and she told me everything. She said that Erica party, they had hired some guys to come there and dance for everybody since my wife was extra friendly to one of the guys. He kept coming back to her, and he had crossed the line with her. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, but at the same time, I knew this kind of thing wasn't uncommon. After hearing, I didn't say anything for a minute. Jasmine said if I wanted the evidence, she would send it to my phone. I told her to send it to me, and she said to hang up while she got ready to send it. After about 5 minutes, she sent me 4 video files, and when I looked at them I collapsed on my couch, after seeing the proof, I called Jasmine back and she asked me, did I get it? And while being choked up, I said I did. She started calling my wife names again and told me she was very sorry for how she acted. I asked her why she would do this to somebody. She claimed she was her sister, and she never gave me a direct answer. She just said my wife and her friends were a bunch of hypocrites and called them fake. I asked her how she got my number, and she reminded me that my wife called her from my phone asking for directions to her dinner party she had at a restaurant. She said she was done being their friend and said that Erica was doing bad things too. Jasmine said to talk to my wife about it, and I told her she was at another friend's house at the time, 
but I definitely was going to talk to her. After hanging up, I was falling to pieces. I knew I had to confront her. There are four full videos of my wife being with another guy, but after that, I didn't know what my life would be like and how she could do this to me. I never trusted these parties, but I didn't think it would happen to me. I don't even get invited to these things when my wife got home. I confronted her as soon as she walked in the door. I asked her how she was doing, and she said she was tired, but fine. I told her I never asked her how Erica's party wasn't asked if she had fun. She seemed caught off guard a little, but she said it was fine. I told her Jasmine said she had a fun time and that she even recorded it to show me later. She looked spooked and asked me what I was talking about, and I showed her the videos of her and the guy getting in on that night. First, her jaw dropped, then she screamed at what she saw. She begged me not to leave her and said Jasmine was doing this because my wife had replaced her with somebody else to be one of Erica's bridesmaids. She said her and Erica got into a big argument about it and then Erica uninvited her from the ceremony. When I heard this, I could kind of see why Jasmine was mad, but not to go this far, though. It didn't matter to me because I told her I was getting a divorce, and that's exactly what I did. Throughout the whole divorce, both of our families wanted us to reconcile. I was told even though she shouldn't have done it, it was a special night for them and I wasn't supposed to have known. I told them that was supposed to be for the bride and even if she was, I wouldn't stay with her. I couldn't believe my wife was doing this with this guy, especially in public. After finally getting divorced, I still couldn't leave the situation alone. I got in touch with other guys that dance and asked them about getting women. I even asked women. The women said they don't, but no girls who did it for extra money. The guys I asked said they get girls all the time, especially the bra. One guy said when he started, it wasn't like that at first, but the women started wanting it, and it just became normal. When I told my friends this, they said it was unhealthy and I should stop talking to them. I don't know. I guess it was just how I was handling it at the time, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I just couldn't get those videos out of my head, especially when the guy knew she was being secretly recorded. Right now, my ex lives in her own apartment close to her job somewhere I used to see her family once in a while, and they still asked me to forgive her because of the circumstances. But I can't do it. I hate to admit it, but Jasmine was right when she said my ex was a fake friend, but apparently her love was fake too. Now I hear she doesn't regret it. Thank you for reading through all of this, and please continue to stay genuine. Hi, guys. This is your narrator again. Opus, I'm terribly sorry to hear what your wife has put you through find out that your wife cheated on you. That way it can be pretty demoralizing. I'm glad that you divorced her immediately after it happened, but from your post, it sounds like you are still having trouble moving on from what has happened. You mentioned how you can't get the images out of her head of what you saw in those video. I would highly recommend that you seek therapy so that you can heal from this situation. If I were you, I would also question and reevaluate the family members around you. You mentioned how they said you should have forgiven your wife because it was a special night and you weren't supposed to find out. I can imagine how disheartening that can be to hear something like from your own family members. I would keep a distance from them if I were you while you continue to get through this. Best of luck to you, Opus. Let's see what the comments had to say about the situation. The first commentator said, don't know whether I am more shocked about her cheating on you in such a like, setting or about the reaction of everyone telling you to take the circumstances into consideration when she cheated on you, as if they are telling you that it is normal cheat on your partner during a bachelorette party, I wonder if they all would say the same if it would have happened to them, I hope that you got tested for STD afterward and that you are clean, wish you all the best on your way forward. Second commentator said she threw away a good life for one good time, now you know the kind of person she is. You did everything I would have done, I wish you good luck. Thanks for taking your time to listen to today's story. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and comment on what your thoughts are on today's story. If there's a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's, then please do not hesitate to